everyone, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you for joining us, and if you would like to, you can please subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications for every time I post a video. Today we are going to be doing my weekly plan with me for the last week of October, and I cannot believe that we are almost done with the month and that Halloween is this weekend. I'm super excited. My friends and I are going to get dressed up together and then just hang out in the apartment and probably watch movies, uh, but it will still be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. As per usual, I am doing my Dutch Door weekly spread where I have a tab on the left and the right and every day gets its own page. So on the left hand side, I have the calendar at the top so that I can see the month at a glance and I highlight which week we are currently planning. Underneath, I have a spot for a to-do list so I can just jot down anything that needs to be done before assigning it to a day. And then lastly, I have my key because I like to color code whether a task is for class, for clinic, or other, including waking up in the morning, going out to lunch, uh, the gym, things like that. So that is how I like to organize my left-hand panel. I will have everything linked down below so that you can see exactly what I'm using. But to create the plaid pattern, I'm just using this kind of teal blue color to create thicker stripes going up and across, and then using a burnt orange kind of brownish shade. I am using this to make thinner lines in between the thick blue lines. up the header, I am using my Tombow Hard Tip Fudenoski brush pen to letter the day, and then I am also using this pen to put the number over that plaid circle. having a timetable to track what I am doing that day exactly by the time and it's also a fun way to kind of document what you did that day at the end of the day if you went to lunch with friends you can kind of mark that in and it's a good way to look back and see what memories you made on each day so my timetable goes from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. that's really the bulk of my day and then on the right hand side I have a to-do list 
for today's tasks. I have a spot for, I changed it to highlight. It used to say gratitude. I used to put down something that I was thankful for, but I started kind of just writing things that happened during the day that were the highlights of my day. So it's still really positive and I'm still practicing gratitude, but I just changed the title to highlight and then I have a little spot to journal and this is kind of a daily recap of what happened that day, how I'm feeling, anything like that will go in this box. I don't have class or clinic or work or anything on the weekends. I like to give my weekends half a day and I take away the timetable because I want my weekends to be less structured. I want to use it as self-care time, as me time, and I just want to relax. So I still do a lot on the weekends, mostly for um, Kayla Ashley plans for my Etsy shop, for my Instagram, and YouTube, which you can go ahead and check out all of those links in the description. Uh, so I still do a lot, but I kind of do it on my own time and I try not to schedule anything else. So I just have a to-do list, my highlights, and my journaling boxes for each of these days. And I'm still going to make those cute little plaid circles and letter in Saturday and Sunday. is where I include my habit trackers as well as a glance at next week. 
the habits that I track do stay the same mostly, but sometimes I will change one or two. And I love having it on my weekly spreads because I see it every single day, so I'm more accountable for them, and because I can change them up every week depending on what I want to work on. So for example, I've been having trouble sleeping, so eight hours of sleep is one of my new habits this week. Then last week, I was spending so much money, so I had a no spending habit tracker last week. So it just gives me more flexibility and accountability in that way. And I also um, have my next week at a glance underneath, and I'll write any assignments, appointments, important dates there, just because I don't plan out my entire month at once. So it's good to have a little spot just to make sure I don't forget that those events are happening and kind of see what's going on. it for today's video and for my last October weekly plan with me for the year. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please thumbs up and let me know down below what you will be doing this Halloween if you celebrate. Will you be dressing up, hanging out with friends? Let me know. I'll see you next time.